Hello, all you wonderful people out in YouTube land, and welcome to the Dollar Store Poor. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a beautiful day to paint. So let's go ahead and get right to it, shall we? So today I'm using a 12 by 16, and I'll be using a 12 by 16 canvas, and I'll be using four colors. Uh, I've got yellow and silver. Um, with both, which, pardon me, which both have the alcohol. I'm using red, which has the mineral oil or baby oil. And I will be using black, which has um, the water and dish soap. Uh, oh, the red also has some water in it too, just because I find the baby oil uh, is very thick. And just adding that doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, <clears throat> make it as uh, as runny as I would like so in no particular order I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring some stripes down the canvas and you'll see why I'm doing stripes very shortly I don't mind if there's some gaps in between. It's not my intent to have them touching. Uh, because what I'm going to do is once they're all poured, I'm going to be uh, doing a swipe. And the way that I'm going to be swiping is uh, I'm going to just swipe from one side all the way to the other and then I'm going to go ahead and drop down a bit and swipe to the other side or the opposite side and I'll just keep continuing that until uh, I'm done Keep my fingers crossed that I come up with something that uh, looks good. And as you can tell, I am using a, a blank canvas. I didn't, uh, I didn't pre-paint the canvas. Oftentimes with a swipe, I will, but I thought it would be, would be enough paint. It should be fine without it. I guess I'll find out very shortly. <clears throat> Just a few more swipes and we'll be done. I think that will do it. I don't. Well, maybe I should fill in the blanks over here just in case. There's a little more on the edge here. That's going to do it. I think I've got enough paint there. I actually better move these out of the way. All right. 
So I found my uh, original scraper. Uh, the last one I used was just a little too heavy, a little too cumbersome. Whereas I find this one, it's nice and light. And so uh, it's a little easier to work with. So as I said, I'm just going to start at the top here and just do a swipe, wipe it off and go back the other way. too much. Oh, I see a lot of cell formation already. I overlapped a bit on that. I'm trying, as I said, I'm trying not to, to overlap. Uh, I find you can certainly over swipe and lose some of the, uh, the cell formation you get. Swipes almost done. Right. And one final swipe to finish it. As I'm swiping, I'm pretty much just letting the weight of the brush uh, be the only thing that's applying the pressure. I'm not uh, applying any any pressure other than just uh, the weight of the brush itself. So very, very light touch. I see a handful of cell formation already. I'm going to go ahead and fire that and see if we can get some more. Uh, at this point, if I fire it, chances are you get uh, a very small cell formation. But that's all right. All right. Yeah, not too bad. So far, so good. <clears throat> so what I'm going to go ahead and do uh, is just let that sit uh, for about a half an hour, like usual. Uh, just to see what we get uh, when we come back. So, we will be back in about a half an hour. All right, so it's been uh, just about a half an hour. And I do see quite a few cells have popped out, uh, small cells. But that's going to happen if you torch it after you move the paint around. If you torch it prior to moving the paint around, that's when you get the larger cells. But, looking at it, overall, I must say I like how it turned out. And of course, as it continues to dry, more cells will, uh, will pop up. So that's going to do it for me for today. I uh, hope you liked what you saw. Uh, if you did, go ahead and throw a like my way. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll be notified uh, when the next video comes out. And until then, I will see you next time.